Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? 2022 elk season has kicked off. Um, <clears throat> I put in with buddy Mike Baker of ABL. We put in with one of our outfitters that uh, we learned from a friend of a friend, um, Mark with Jemez Mountain Outfitters. And uh, we did the application process and I was lucky enough first try to pull this tag. So I'm hunting a unit that's limited entry. Um, there's only a handful of non-residents that get this tag for this season. I'm hunting the first archery season. It's September 6th right now. So I've got seven, eight days yet to hunt um, until my season ends and I couldn't be more pumped. These guys at uh, JMO, MS Mountain Outfitters, have been putting their time in. Um, I will be alongside Jordan Loretto. He's a guide of Mark's. Um, he's been working his tail off. He's been sending me text messages, scouting every other weekend, and checking trail cams, and sending me phone scope footage of bulls. So it sounds like there's a lot of activity going on. He's been up there all day today scouting, checking some cams on wallows and whatnot. Um, he just ran into a bull in, in uh, chasing cows at like 20 yards in the woods. So um, I couldn't be more pumped to get up there. I'm anxious to say the least. Uh, right now I'm solo. You can see it's just me, myself, and my thoughts here. I'm roughly 16 hours in and got three, four more hours to go. So I'll be getting up to camp in the middle of the night. <clears throat> and, uh, but we've got one of our ABO crew, Logan Descent, that's going to be running the camera for me. So he's going to meet up with us here. Uh, he's flying in tomorrow and should be up with us ready to go for the following day. So tomorrow will be high standards and uh, scouting trip while we wait for uh, Logan to get up here. But nonetheless, I'll have camera gear. We'll be ready to rip. Um, super pumped. Super pumped. Hey, what's up everybody? It was a wild ride last night. <clears throat> I drove all the way straight through from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, all the way up to camp. And uh, I think we got settled down about like 2 a.m. last night. So we took our time this morning. The sun's already up, so we should be, uh, we're up high. Camp is up high, so we should be playing with the updrafts. We hit the ridges, start glassing, start talking a little bit. The bulls are already bugling. Right down in this valley here, you can see where it drops off. So check out camp. Jordan and Mark have been putting their time in. They got it all set up, ready to go. They got another crew of hunters coming in right after us, so for second season. But we're all packed up, we shot bow, everything's dialed on. It's not the bow's fault if something goes wrong. Say hi to our say hi to my best friend for the rest of the week. Yeah. We're about to take some bull down. <laughs> <laughs> You're darn right. Um, so right now the plan is um, we're just going to drive down this way where he's checking out some cameras and some action where he had some cameras yesterday and bumped a couple of bulls. So we're going to start that way and then make our way back up to where they're talking here below us for the evening. So should be a good day. I'm excited. Anytime you're in the mountains, it's game time, right? So we walked down where Jordan had some action yesterday. We heard some bugles in this general area this morning and we just were walking along this uh, logging trail here. And one ripped off right here, so. How far do you think he is? A few hundred yards. Yeah, at least 300 to yards. So we're just trying to figure out what the wind's gonna do here because we're kind of in that happy medium where the sun's starting to hit it. It's 
kind of an earth facing slope, but it's got some topography where the sun's hitting spot, so we'll have to play it by it as we go here. But we're gonna make a move in here. Logie bear, how you're standing there and not peeling over because my feet reek so bad is beyond me. I've got super sweaty feet, therefore they get really saturated and they get gross and blister up and socks get nasty. So, pro tip of the day: to kill uh, stinky feet, hand sanitizer. It says right on the label kills 99.99% of germs and guess what causes foot odor bacteria germs so use this 
Gets rid of the stinky feet, ready for day three. Pro tip of the day, Matty B coming at you. Take team, take team. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Well, that meal. That's a meal. That's a meal too. <laughs> the old monster. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't taste good after the hike. Well, back to day one spots, day three, morning of day three. Sun's just starting to crest the horizon here, or not the sun, but the light's starting to peak around the horizon. So we're sitting good on time. Get skinny. And uh, we're gonna walk back here because the more, first morning we came in here, we got a late start just because I didn't get into camp till like one, two o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna get up in here. We had three or four bulls going right away. So fingers crossed we're gonna give that spot we were at yesterday a little bit of a rest because we were in there all day and then we found out the neighbor guys were as well so we're hoping this has stayed untouched given with uh, the day break so we're gonna go back in here and see if we can't make it happen <coughs>
frustrating. We ran into a bull walking, trying to get to this road. 70 yards stopped with him a shot, then he kind of walked off, so we quick got down to the road and tried to get underneath him for good wind. So Jordan dropped below. We were calling up here, and a bull from the bottom came right up to him. At 10 yards, breathing down his neck. What's your go-to pump-up song? Do you have one? No. Black Eyed Peas? My humps. <laughs> it's my humps. <laughs> my sexy lady humps. Check it out. Trying to make us crazy. The September makes them crazy. <laughs> the bull elk make them crazy. You get sleep deprived and you get sore and you get a little weird. That's for sure. Yeah. It's Saturday. What's the date today? 10th? 10th. September 10th. Day four of an eight day hunt. We're right back where we left off yesterday. We never, I guess we never got back on camera, did we? Mm -hmm. We got caught in the rain, so it was kind of a mad, mad dash, mad scramble. So we hunted back in here to had an awesome morning of encounters. And even had a couple in the afternoon, we sat and kind of stayed low key, and then we checked a trail camera and bumped into one. And well, we didn't bump into him, we called him. He just didn't want to come in because he had cows and he had another spike he was with, so it was a small little group. So we're back, we're just gonna go back in there. A good friend of ours always says, never leave fish to find fish, so that's what we uh, talked about last night. We're gonna stay right here. There's a lot of bulls, so came right back. The uh, forecast looks like more rain this afternoon, so might as well just get, get it done and shoot one this morning.
can have a snack. But I can see why, you know, everybody talks about the burns being so targeted, good spots to, to look for, you know, evening, morning type stuff activity. I mean, you can see in here how tall this foliage has come up. Jordan, how many years ago was this burn? How many years ago was this burn? I'm not really sure. Not sure? But nonetheless, it's packed full of elk signs, so you know that they, they're using it throughout the night. Every step you take, there's beds everywhere, you can smell the, the elk piss. So, we're just trying to figure out the next move, if we go to a new area, or what. Either way, we gotta loop back around these woods to get back towards the truck, so gonna stay on that same game plan of just tiptoeing through and calling and see if we can get something to to come in. But it makes it tougher when they're not when they're not bugling back, that's for sure. Jordan, you gotta be in here. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness on the camera. We just put our cameraman through uh Slight help for him, probably. <laughs> we went down a nasty decline, and then we took an upcline to get up top, and right away the bull was bugling, so we took off after it. And every time we kept calling, it's getting deeper, deeper, deeper in here. So we put our track shoes on. <laughs> Logan was just on all fours. <laughs> so, yeah. She's, she's a track star. <laughs> so the bull went over this ridge right here, so we're just gonna stay on this line. We got updrafts. It just stays, if we could stay on the top side of him and if he slows down and beds up or anything and is still talking, we can drop in on him. If not, if he continues down, there's a huge valley down here. It's nasty and gnarly. Like, we'd lose our cameraman permanently if we went down there. So <laughs> we'll probably just stay the course. So we're just going to go up here and see if he still talks and continue on. Let's keep on trucking. Yeah, all right. All right.
it's moving slow. And I already had ranges on different trees down there where the cows are at. So I knew he was at like 72 yards and I put the yeah. 70 pin on him. Yeah, I had saw him, like said, come up this way or down here. When he started coming up, I saw him. I was like, that's when he said, like, he told me to call. Got it right, I'm about to pick up my bugle teeth. Don't call, don't call, don't call. He had it almost to his lips when he paused. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Well, yeah, because then they settled, the cows settled down right here. They settled down. It, well, they're still snorting and stuff, I don't know, but they kept looking this way. So I'm like, well, I could get lucky and he could chase them around right below me, and that's what happened. And man, did I pull back forever. I want to get a count on that. Because I actually like stayed on him for a long time, hoping he'd take another step. And then he didn't, so I put my boat down like this, and I sat there for a little bit. Then I let it down. When I did that, Kyle snorted again and took off. So then he took a couple steps, and I had come back again. It felt good. It felt like a great shot. And when I hit it, obviously, I was ecstatic, because I thought I hit it right in the boiler room. Gave him the old Ric Flair. So, I seriously thought when he slowed down 10 steps into it, he was gonna pile up right here, like within 40 yards. I put my hat down even, I was just like, I half and did it. Yeah. It's bubbling, yeah, it's a long shot. Is it bubbling? Oh yeah, it's a long shot. Single lung. He, he, he won't last. Fuck, I just wanted to pile up, man. That's a good bolt. Well, it's good that we got long. Yeah, he's just a... Just tip, baby. Woo! <laughs> Andre, Logan, that's fucking gold, you. <laughs> oh my God! Well, I'm not packing four sheds out. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yeah, thank you, Lord. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I was praying this whole time. I, I, my, I, I fucking felt like shit. Man. Holy, holy smokes! You, uh, the circumstances were so iffy. We knew it was a marginal shot. After looking back at the footage, it felt great. But looking at the footage, we didn't get good penetration. It might have been forward. But then as we were tracking them, oh, it started to rain, so we wanted to give them a couple hours, and then after an hour it starts raining, so we're like, well, <laughs> it got pretty tough to see the blood. So how long did we track that thing? That's like two miles. No, it wasn't. It was like maybe a mile. Yeah. But regardless, like for a while there, it got really sparse, so I'm like, we're not going to find them. And then... Uh, 
once we started finding more and more of his beds with a lot of blood and it was red, bubbly, I, uh, I was pretty confident then that he was, it was a fatal shot. Just the kept raining on us. <laughs> so I was like, no, please Lord, don't. Ah, I can't thank you two gentlemen enough for the hard work you guys put in. Yes, sir. That was nuts. It's about to get even harder work. <laughs> it's gonna get, that's fun hard work. Yes, sir. When you have a giant like that. He's but how beautiful. cool, how cool is it listening to all these elk rip all night in the rain right now? Just insane. Dude, Jordan, you're like, oh, this is gnarly down there, man. And I'm like, dude, this is gorgeous. You could sit here and watch freaking elk all over the place. Unreal, unreal. We just lost blood too. Literally just lost by. And then we looked up and I'm beside myself right now. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> We're walking up on a toad like this. Heck yeah. Ugh. Look at this beast. So pumped. Well, ladies and gents, it's been a long, long road for me, myself, personally, of these animals. I've shot an elk before, and but i have uh, I think this is my seventh trip. And we've had tons of encounters, and you learn so much along the way. And then finally it came through here today with this guy. Look at that. We worked our tail off for this thing. Yes, sir. We really did. We started at the top of that hill, way over there. Yeah. And there's still elk bugling behind us. This place is amazing. Yeah. Jordan, get in here. Can you squeeze in? Yeah. There you go, sir. I'm on top of me. Come on in. Huge shout out goes to this guy along with <laughs> the rest of Jemez Mountain Outfitters. Jordan worked his tail off for us. He was he was up what every other weekend you were up here scouting, checking trail cams. Yeah, just every time I had a free time to come out, just took advantage of it and and then you'd text me pictures and yeah. videos and Instagram and every time I see a nice bull, <laughs> turn it to Matt and get him jacked up and Excited ready to, to go. Down. Yeah, I was like a kid uh, Christmas <laughs> morning. Every time I get a message from him, I'm like, oh my god, he's on bulls again. And I'm driving down here, like a straight 16-hour drive that I had from Sioux Falls is where I started. Well, actually, it was a 21 total hour drive, but. He was texting me the day before, he was That's on bulls, crazy. he's like, Matt, where are you? <laughs> There's bulls yeah. running around. I can't be more pleased with this animal and thankful for the work that both you two put in with this. And this remember, awesome. a few hours ago I was on my freaking all fours. <laughs> Logan's all fours. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, are you documenting this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Right. Yep. We, uh, we popped Sorry. Logan's elk trip cherry here, and this is what, day two for you? Day two. Day two? And day one was unreal. Yeah, tons of encounters. We had a big one come right up behind you, 10 yards. You can hear him yeah. huffing behind you. We got a sneak attack from a nice bull behind 10 yards. I feel him bringing down my neck, and it's crazy. But yeah, and then we had like three of those encounters <laughs> in like yeah. 60 minutes. This place is magical, I tell you, peeps. This is nuts. MS Mountain Outfitters, you guys, you gotta look these guys up. But now you can you can hear the thunder and the inclement weather we're in, and you can see the beautiful terrain around us and how he's laying. It's gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting pack out, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Well, that's what it's about. That's the fun part. That's eh? the fun part. Have a, hey, hey, thanks, fun. man. Yes, sir. Logie behind the camera. Thanks, yeah. and then uh, let's get to work. Thanks again. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs>
Every man has felt the same All our love, it runs the same Father, hear us as we pray to the river